By 2050, we're going to need twice as much food from the same land as we grow today in order to feed the world's growing population. We're standing in the Beetle Center greenhouses on the city campus of the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. Around me, you see a diverse set of corn and sorghum plants that we uh, use to understand how the genes in corn and sorghum determine the final properties of plants and crops. The focus of what's going on here is to take samples from plants and be able to measure uh, either variation in DNA, variation in gene expression, that sort of thing. If we can understand how genotype determines the traits of a plant, we have a better shot at being able to meet the growing demand for food and fuel around the world. In order to do that, we need to collect many, many measurements from hundreds and thousands of plants, not just in one environment, but in many different environments. So different places around the state, different years, different stress treatments. A lot of the work we do at the University of Nebraska is in developing high throughput phenotyping technologies. Phenotyping is a very fancy word for a very simple concept, which is just measuring the properties of plants. So these are things like the automated greenhouse, the spider cam facility, uh, also a lot of uh, drone-based and robotic phenotyping. And so now we have tools that most other universities lack, which allow us to be developing the methods and approaches that I think everyone will be using 5, 10, or 20 years from now. We were able to release the first uh, complete version of the prosomillet genome. What's really exciting about prosomillet is that it can use water much more efficiently than even sorghum and much more than corn. Now that we have this reference genome, it will be possible for us to go in, identify differences between different prosomillet varieties, identify variants of genes that are more or less useful for getting higher yielding varieties, and hopefully develop new varieties that will be both higher yielding and have better agronomic performance. Yeah, so I won the uh, North American Plant Phenotyping Network's uh, Early Career Investigator Award. It was the inaugural award. Plant phenotyping is just such a new field, and so being able to be part of this you know, new emerging community feels really good.